So as I said for this project I will use 1.25 mm crochet hook and uh, crochet thread number 15 which is 50 grams is approximately 333 meters. Yeah. Oh, we will start with a slip knot. And we will chain six, two, three, four, five, and six. Slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Now we will chain two and into this ring. Uh, make 16 double crochets so it's one two three four So it's fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen double crochets into this ring, and we will slip stitch into the first double crochet of this round, like that. We can cut this tail off okay. we'll start round number two chain two and into the same double crochet that we slip stitch in we will make two uh, double crochets into the same double crochet like that and we will work this round uh, with two double crochets in every double crochet the previous round so two double crochets into the next Oh, at the end of this round we will have uh, 32 double crochets in total so this is 31 and 32 slip stitch into the first double crochet of this round Now we'll start with round number three. We will chain one, chain one, and single crochet into the same stitch as we slip stitched in. Then we will chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We will skip the next three double crochets, so one, two, three, and into the fourth we will do a single crochet. Again, chain five, two, three, four, five, skip next three, one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, do a single crochet. Yeah. 
and we'll repeat this around. So chain five, skip three, one, two, three, into the fourth single crochet. <coughs> okay. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops, and for the last loop we will work chain two and treble crochet into the first single crochet of this of this round like that we are do chain six two three four five six and double crochet into the double crochet into the same loop like okay. into the next single crochet we'll work double crochet chain three and one more double crochet into the same stitch like that and into the third chain of our of our chain five loop we'll do a double crochet chain three and one more double crochet so one two into the third chain like that make double crochet chain three and one more double crochet into the same chain again into the next single crochet work double crochet chain three and one more double crochet and we will repeat this around. So into the third chain of the chain five loop. Uh, one, one, two, into the third. Work double crochet, chain three, and one more double crochet. And we will repeat this around. So into the next single crochet, work double crochet, chain three and double crochet, then into the third chain, work a double crochet, chain three, double crochet, and again into the next single crochet, work a double crochet, chain three and double crochet. So Here's our last single crochet. Let's make a double crochet, chain three, and one more double crochet. Good. And we will slip stitch into the third chain of our starting chain six. One, two, into the third. We'll do a single crochet. Like that. Around number five, we'll chain six, six. Oops, I made seven. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Okay. And into the same chain that we slip stitched in, we will do a double crochet. Like that. All in the same third chain. So now we will skip next double crochet 
and into the second we'll work a double crochet chain three and one more double crochet and pattern for this round is skip one double crochet into the next work a double crochet chain three and one more double crochet again skip one into the next work double crochet chain three and one more double crochet and repeat this around okay to end around number five you will slip stitch into the third chain of our starting chain six like that. now we'll start around number six which is repeat of the round number five so chain six four five and six and into the same chain that we slip stitched in we'll work a double crochet like that we'll skip the next double crochet and into the next double crochet chain three and one more double crochet so repeat this around skip one double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain three and one more double crochet we are at the end of the round number six we have to slip stitch into the third chain like that uh, so at this point the our doily uh, starts to uh, cop uh, slightly so uh, don't worry no need to panic uh, in the process of making this doily uh, it will straighten up so let's start with around number seven we will chain six two three four five and six and We'll do a double crochet into the same chain as this slip stitched in. Okay, now we will chain three, one, two, three, skip double crochet, and into the next we'll do a double crochet, chain three, and one more double crochet. Again, chain three, two, three, skip one double crochet into the next, work a double crochet, chain three, and one more double crochet. Like that. Again, chain three, and repeat this pattern around. So we have a double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, skip one double crochet into the next, work a double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, and again skip a double crochet and into the next work a double crochet, chain three and double crochet. That chain three and slip stitch into the third chain like that. okay we will start round number eight so we will slip stitch into the chain three space and we will do our beginning shell so chain three two double crochets into the same space chain three 
chain 3 and 3 more double crochets into the same chain 3 space. That's 1, 2 and 3. Okay, now we'll chain three, one, two, and three. We will skip next chain three space and into the next space we'll work a double crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four, and one more double crochet into the same space. Like that. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip one chain three space. So we will skip the next chain three space and into the next. So see in this V, we will work a shell. So shell chain uh, three double crochets. One, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, and three more double crochets into the same space. Two and three, chain three. And we'll repeat this pattern around. So we will skip one chain three space into the next. We will work a double crochet, chain four, one more double crochet into the same chain three space. Then we'll chain three, skip the next space, and into the next we'll do a shell, chain three, and so on. This is our last double crochet in this round, chain 3 and slip stitch into the third, into the third chain. And around eight is done. So in at the end of this round we have eight shells and eight chain four spaces. For the round number nine we will slip stitch into the next two into the next two double crochets and into the chain 3 space. Now work a start starting our beginning shell. So chain 3, two double crochets, chain 3 and three more double crochets into the same space like that. now we we'll chain three and into the next chain four loop we will work eight double crochets so eight double crochets into the next chain four loop it's two Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain three and work a shell in a shell. So, 
3 double crochets, chain 3, and 3 more double crochets. chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and we will repeat this pattern around. So, in the next uh, chain 4 space, we will work 8 double crochets, chain 3, shell in a shell, chain 3, uh, in a chain 4 space, 8 double crochets, chain 3, and shell in a shell. Three and slip stitch into the third chain. Like that. Okay. For the round ten, we will slip stitch into the chain three space. So into the next two double crochets and into the chain three space. We will do our beginning shell, so chain 3, 2 double crochets, chain 3 and 3 more double crochets, it's 1, 2 and 3, chain 3 and we'll work a double crochet into the first double crochet chain one double crochet into the next chain one double crochet into the next so basically what we'll do is double crochet in every double crochet and chain one between and into the last one so in this round we will have eight double crochets with chain one between two, four, six, eight, chain three and shell in the next shell. So the form of shell three double crochets, chain three and three double crochets. Chain three, and we will repeat this pattern around. So, in each of the next eight double crochets, uh, make a double crochet and chain one between. So a double crochet into the first, chain one, into the second, chain one, third, chain one, into the fourth, and so on. And now we will slip stitch into the third chain. Okay. 
then we will slip stitch into the next uh, chain 3 space so first we have to slip stitch into the next two double crochets and then into the chain 3 space our beginning shell oh this is the round number 11 chain 3 and two more uh, three more double crochets chain three one two three and we will single crochet into the first chain one space chain three single crochet into the next chain one space chain three single crochet into the next chain three single crochet into the next chain one space three single crochet into the next one chain three and single crochet into the last chain one space so in this round we will have six chain three spaces or chain three loops in our pineapple chain three and we'll do shell in a shell so three double crochets chain three and three more double crochets to form our shell chain 3 and we will repeat this pattern around so we'll do a single crochet in each of the next uh, chain 1 spaces in our pineapple and chain 3 between so as I said before we will have 6 chain 3 loops and our shells so shell in shell chain three work across our pineapple chain three and again shell in shell chain three and so on we are at the end of the round 11 slip stitch into the third chain so this is the end of the part one of this video tutorial uh, we are at the end of the round 11 and uh, this only is uh, 22 rounds in total so in sort of a way in the not in the whole piece but in the number of rows we are at the halfway and uh, so this will be the end of the part one uh, once again don't worry about this uh, 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 about uh, how this doily looks at the moment because uh, when we'll finish with it it will be all nice and straight and flat so yeah if you didn't uh, till now subscribe to my channel uh, put in the comments below what do you think about this uh, tutorial uh, and uh, yeah by the way put the hit the bell button so that you don't miss my second and final part of this uh, tutorial on how to make this uh, round doily so, hope to see you next time, enjoy your crocheting 
and be safe till next time bye